blueberry picking which I always love to do this time every single year we are a bit later in the season and the blueberry farm we were going to go to today thankfully I checked their Facebook page this morning and they actually sold out of their crop yesterday but thankfully there's another farm in the area that is also super fun and I think we've tried the blueberries there and they're really good this other farm I love the taste of their blueberries so I was kind of bummed I didn't get to enjoy them this season but I have hope that this other farm will have delicious blueberries as well. And they also have peaches, so maybe we'll get blueberries and peaches. It's gonna be a beautiful spring day. I'm going with my friend Greta, so excited to see her. It's been a couple weeks since I've seen her. And it actually was her birthday pretty recently. And yesterday I went to the antique store and found her this really cute gift. So she really loves tea, so I got this little tea, antique tea container storage container and I'm gonna fill it with some tea right now and then I also I just washed it because it was a little dirty but I found this cute little seashell dish which is also really really sweet it was made in London so super cool so I'm gonna prep that gift and then we'll be on our way and then I have a few more errands to run after we go blueberry picking and then tonight is date night so also really looking forward to that we're gonna try this Ethiopian restaurant. So we've never been, but really looking forward to it and excited to spend time together. This is Brandon and I's new favorite tea. It is so delicious. It's this sweet cinnamon spice. And when they say sweet, they mean sweet. It's just like a, it's almost like a dessert at night. I still have dessert every night, but in addition to dessert, it's another, sweet tree and it doesn't have any added sugar or anything. Oh, it does say natural flavor. I don't know what that's about. Usually when something says natural flavor, it's kind of like a mystery. So I'll have to look into that, but it has organic cinnamon and then also some rosehip, lemongrass, ginger, orange peel. I think the orange peel is what makes it so sweet, but we've really been enjoying it. of goodies we picked up first of all this gorgeous gigantic sunflower it's getting a little wilted because I was carrying it around for a while and then I stopped at a few places on the way home 
so it is thirsty hopefully the water will revive it pretty quickly i went to hobby lobby to pick up a few things which i'll show you but i picked up these scissors they're so cute they have bumblebees on the the cutting part but i we have kitchen shears with our knife set but we used to have scissors for our junk drawer just for miscellaneous things and i don't know where they went they completely disappeared so I got a new pair. I think it'll be really handy and super cute. So let's try to revive this sunflower. There were so many, um, so many beautiful sunflowers and so many bees on the sunflowers. So this is actually perfect, but it was a really beautiful day. We spent quite a bit of time there. Got some blueberries and peaches. We didn't end up um, filling our buckets all the way full because we were doing other things as well. So we have a good amount of blueberries definitely a great amount but we eat them so quickly just on their own so i'm debating if i want to bake something or not with them the sunflower i actually need like an axe to cut this Ooh, just kind of do that hopefully that's okay i don't know all the proper sunflower care tips but yeah i don't know if we'll bake something with the blueberries or just enjoy them as they are and then we have some peaches, which I think peaches are probably my number one favorite fruit. I absolutely love peaches. The ones we got today aren't um, completely ripe yet, so hopefully they'll ripen up on the counter in a few days. But, oh my goodness, a juicy, ripe peach. Phenomenal. Okay. I need to sort of get this shorter so that it stabilizes. It's so heavy. Oh no, it's just like drooping. I don't really know the best way to display it. I have this one vessel over here. I already have some tulips in it, but maybe this would be better. What if I, I don't even know if this will be thick enough. Okay, yeah, that's way better. I mean, it's still kind of flopping around, but it's probably our best option. Yeah, it's a little tricky to stabilize. Yeah, we'll do that. And then what do I do with these little cuties? Decisions, decisions. Okay, we have it in water, so I'll play around with that later. Let me show you what else I picked up. I have a Hobby Lobby haul and a Trader Joe's haul. This weekend I'm hosting my friend Haley's bridal shower. So I've been prepping for that and getting supplies for that. So that was the bulk of why I went to Hobby Lobby and Trader Joe's. So I picked up this canvas and some paint because one thing I wanna do for her shower is have everyone who comes paint a little flower or something. I think we'll go with flowers because it's a spring shower, but um, paint something because she's an artist and loves to paint so I feel like that'd be kind of special to have everyone paint something and then she can take that home so that's one of the activities we have got a, a lot of paints they had so many colors I tried to pick out a nice like pastel palette I have some other paints already too that I'll put out but these are the ones I purchased today and then I picked up these pots because I recently got some more flowers that I want to pot. And don't they look like they're ceramic? They're actually just plastic. It's kind of like an optical illusion, but I liked the blue color, especially for our front porch because it goes nicely with our door. And then the last items I picked up was a bunch of tissue paper because I'm going to make more DIY paper flowers, which I plan to vlog tomorrow when I'm setting up for the shower and everything. So I'll do all those DIYs and crafts in the next vlog. But that's what I picked up at Hobby Lobby. And then at Trader Joe's, I picked up two of these potted tulips. They are so beautiful. Let's see how they look in these pots. Maybe we'll put them in these pots actually. I need to hide the pink wrapper, but that is cute. So I might put these on the front porch or I might sprinkle them throughout our home for like decor for the shower. We'll see. I'm gonna clear some room for us. So many flowers. 
Let me just show you the peaches too. Let me just give you an overhead shot of our cute peaches. Adorable, some are kind of small, but then I was able to find some bigger ones as well. Oh, this one actually is close to being ripe, so this one we'll probably get to enjoy first. From Trader Joe's, I got a lot of this French fizz. We have a rosé, and then we also have a sparkling white, rye, white wine um, for the shower, so we'll have that. I thought these bottles were really beautiful to set out, and I'm gonna try to make a DIY wine ice holder contraption, <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. And then I also picked up this Italian grapefruit soda to make a fun drink with. Picked up crackers. These are our go-to crackers from Trader Joe's that we really enjoy. And then we have these Meyer lemon cookies that I'll set out for the shower. And we have powdered sugar, coconut sugar. I've been wanting to try coconut sugar because one of my friends was telling me about telling me about it, saying that it's really yummy, but it is a little less sweet than standard sugar or cane sugar, so you can kind of use it differently. So I want to try that. And then vanilla meringues for the shower. We have some more drinks for my fancy drink I want to make. And then I got a cake mix because I'm going to be making these cute little sort of tea cakes. So we got that. And then, oh, these I'm so excited about. I got a blueberry donut at the farm today, so my sweet tooth is satiated for the time being, but I really wanna try these soon. They're peanut butter and chocolate wafers. I've had their peanut butter and jelly combo like this, so I'm really excited to try the chocolate version because peanut butter and chocolate is my dream duo. I love that flavor combo. And then I also got these cheese and truffle flavored little crunchy snacks for the shower as well, just for some snacking. And then we have this Dijon mustard. We have vanilla extract. We have chili lime seasoning, one of our favorite seasonings. Give you a closer look in case you've never seen it. We put this on a lot of things, especially eggs in the morning. And then we have some dill pickles. Look at this, look at spicy dill pickles with all that garlic, peppercorn. Oh, I'm so excited to try those. And this, I'm also so excited about, this chili onion crunch oil. I am going to be using this on eggs every morning and probably whatever I can. This is my dream oil. It's basically, I love to put olive oil and then red pepper flakes on so many different recipes and food food items we make, so I feel like that will just be a go-to. And I got some refrigerated things. Oh, I got the macaroons. The Trader Joe's frozen macaroons. These are so great for parties. I pretty much get them for everything we host. And I also got this green juice, which I really enjoy. It's the, yeah, <laughs> I guess it's, it doesn't have a fancy name. It's just the green juice. And this is my favorite lentil soup. I ate this pretty much every night in college. It's so good and I get it every time I go to Trader Joe's. because we're both hungry and excited. So we're on our way. I just freshened up, put on a cardigan, some linen pants, and we're about to hit the road. Need you. 
night. It was so much fun. Such a unique and beautiful, well, unique to us meal. Basically, we ordered the meat and veggie platter. So it had a bunch of different meats that they offer as well as veggies, which I love lentils. So I really was drawn to the lentils and all the beautiful flavors and spices they use. And the injera, which is essentially like a bread, like it's kind of like a spongy, almost like a spongy wrap. That is what we ate everything with. So we didn't use silverware until dessert. We, for the whole entree, we used injera to kind of pick up the different lentils or veggies, meat. So it was definitely a really fun dining experience. And dessert was... Probably, we loved the samosas at the beginning, the lentil samosas, but I feel like the chocolate cake is just hard to beat with the coffee. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. It was so good. Traditional coffee. Bahava was good too, but chocolate cake. We're, really we're chocolate lovers, so chocolate <laughs> always gets... <laughs> no um, surprise. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to work on the bread. I'm making some sourdough, so we have our Levon right here. Nice and risen before dinner. I made a mark at, high, at how high it had rose over the past like 12 hours. I've been letting it sit for a while. But now I'm going to make my dough because it rose a little bit while we were gone. Your loneliness kills me, but your loving it thrills me. Won't you speak those words? I'll be there. Whatever tomorrow. garden goodies this is from a company that I recently found and I am truly in love with it it's called it's called garden glory and they have all of these brightly colored garden supplies and I am so excited to show you what I picked out lots there's a lot of pink appreciation and just you wait just you wait Oh my goodness. Okay, first and foremost, we have a pink hose. Oh my goodness. This is my dream hose. It's so incredibly beautiful. I mean, look at the details of this, okay? The chain. Wow, oh wow. I mean, the little gold pieces. Wow, 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 wow. So we have, oh, I almost fell down the stairs. <laughs> we have this incredible hose. And then we have, like, this packaging is unreal. We have this pink pitcher, watering can. Oh my goodness, it looks even better in person. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. And this is a great size watering can very efficient and then this contraption is to hang the hose so I'm gonna need to install it to the side of I think I'll put it to the side of the garage I might put it because we have a few different spigots so I'm not sure which one I'll put it at yet but this is what I'm gonna wrap the hose around very very beautiful great quality have that and then a couple other attachments this is really like my dream this these pink garden details so this is the hose nozzle 
all of the attachments. So I'll go ahead and set that up tomorrow. I just was really excited to show you all. And we'll use the pitcher tonight for some of our plants. And then this is a attachment for the pitcher. So we have this gorgeous gold attachment with little hearts where the water comes out. I mean, this is just beyond. So incredibly dreamy. I'll just put it at the top like that and water away. So we are gonna have a very fabulous watering session right now. That is the most fabulous thing you've ever seen, right? Yeah. I mean, that is so cute. Do you see the hose? Yeah. <laughs> and fold of the night and then I'm gonna let it sit overnight shape it in the morning and then we'll have some bread Saturday I could even bake it Friday night if I wanted but I like to let it sit in the fridge for at least 24 hours I try to do like 48 hours so that it just is able to get that really sourdough beautiful flavor so that's the plan, but that's gonna be it for tonight. We have our tea upstairs, gonna do some reading before bed. Such a beautiful day, I'm very thankful for this day and looking forward to this weekend. Gonna have some resting time and then the bridal shower, then I have a birthday party um, after church. So it's shaping up to be a beautiful weekend, but thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this vlog and I hope you are well and I'm excited to see you next.